Hi there, Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha and this video we will see bubble sort. Previous video we already discussed about selection sort, why do we need sorting, sorting algorithm and we have seen the implementation of selection sort. Let's see how bubble sort helps us in arranging the elements in either ascending or descending order. So let's say take the example 5, 15, 9, 3, 8. We have to arrange these five numbers in the ascending order. Means we want the output as 3, 5, 8, 9 and 15. The way you do it using bubble sort is first you take the first element. So you have the indexes 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Compare the first element with the second element. If first element is greater than the second element, swap it. No, leave it. Then compare the second element with the third element. Now because the second element is greater than the third element, swap the two values and the new array becomes 5, 9, 15, 3 and 8. Next, you compare the, second, the third element with the fourth element. Is this greater? Yes. So swap it 5, 9, 3, 15 and 8. Then you compare these two elements. This is greater? Yes. So the new array becomes 5, 9, 3, 8 and 15. So using bubble sort, when the array is sorted for the first time, we get the highest element in the last. <coughs> but still you can see, the array is not yet sorted. Again then what we have to do, again we start from the first element, we compare first element with the second element. If first element is greater, swap it. No, leave it. Compare the second element with the third element. This is greater, yes, swap it. So the array becomes 5, 3, 9, 8 and 15. Now again compare the third element with the fourth element, it is greater, yes, 5, 3, 8, 9 and 15. You can see we got the last two elements sorted. But still the whole array is not yet sorted. Again we have to repeat these steps again and again. So there are many steps that needs to be repeated. So let's see the implementation. First, let us write the program for getting this array. So that means we have to start iterating over the array from the index 0. So we write the logic as we have the for loop. We start from 0. We go till the length minus 1. Why? Because you are comparing first element with the second element. So 0 plus 1. Then 1 with 2. 2 with 3. 3 with 4 and we go to the length then 4 with 5 will give us array index out of bounds. So we will say j less than 4 that means it goes till 0, 1, 2, 3 it compares 3 with 4 and again j plus plus. Now what we have to do we have to compare that is value at index 0 is it greater than the value at index 1 that is j plus 1. Is it greater? No. Do nothing. Increment the value of j to 1. We will compare value at index 1 that is 15 with value at index j plus 1 that is 2. This is greater. Yes. Swap the value. So again the swapping, swapping logic remains the same. t is a of j. a of j is a of j plus 1 a of j plus 1 is equals to t right so that means we have swapped and we got this array now the next element of j becomes 2 we compare the value at index 2 with the value at index 3 this is greater yes again swap it then the j becomes 3 we compare 3 with 4 3 is greater yes Swap it. We got this array. If we print this, we will get this, this output wherein we have the highest element in the last. But still the array is not yet sorted. 
we have to sort it right so then we have to repeat these steps again and again and whenever we have to repeat anything again we again use loops so we'll put this whole block inside another for loop this starts from 0 and this also goes till 4 and i plus plus that's it so when i is 0 that is first time i go inside my j starts from 0 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 compares i get this array next for the next iteration that is i becomes 1 again i start from 0 to 5 and 9 5 9 and 3 yes 9 is greater 3 9 3 8 so 9 3 so we got 3 9 the 9 8 we again swap it 8 9 and we got the array fine so this is how you implement bubble sort let's see the same in blue j so a simple program for bubble sort we have a scanner object an array numbers of size 5 Take the input from the user. It's the same code that we have used in the selection sort. And once after, once we sort it, after that you would be seeing the sorted array. So for uh, bubble sort, we discussed that the outer loop starts from 0. It goes till numbers dot length minus 1. Remember it has to be minus 1. Remember it has to be minus 1. Because inside for bubble sort, we are going to compare the value at 0 and the value at index 1. So it's j and j plus 1. And then we say i plus plus. So ideally bubble sort is very very easy. Again you have a loop inside. j is equals to. Now in bubble sort, the difference with selection sort is. In, in selection sort, the array, array goes till the length. And the j starts from i plus 1. In bubble sort, both i and j start from 0, but the starting, the ending condition is numbers.length minus 1 and j plus plus. And what we have to do, we just have to compare and sort. So, we'll write if numbers of j is greater than numbers of j plus 1, right? So, we are comparing the value at first index with the value at second index. So, let us just write few examples. So, I will say suppose 5, 9, 15, 3, 8. So, value at index 0 if it is greater than the value at index 1. So, let us make this 55 so that we will see how it works. So, 55 is greater than 9, right? So, we have to swap because in bubble sort, we need the greatest value first if it is ascending order. If true, let's swap it. So again the same stuff, int t is equals to numbers of j. Numbers of j, we already stored that value. So we can overwrite that with j plus 1. And then numbers of j plus 1 will be equal to t. That's it. So bubble sort is just very simple. You start both the arrays from 0, length minus 1. You compare the value at j with the value at j plus 1. 0 and 1. This is greater, yes. So please swap it. So after first swap, the array becomes 9, then 55, then 15, then 3, then 8. Then next time it goes for comparing the value at index 1 with the value at index 2. Yes, this is greater. So now your array changes to 9, then 15, then 55, then 3, then 8. Again, next you compare the value at index 2 with the value at index 3. Yes, 55 is greater. So again, the array becomes 9, 15, 3, 55 and 8. Again, we'll compare. So 55 is yes, greater than 8. So now the new array becomes 9, 15, 3, 8 and 55. So in bubble sort C, we always get the highest value first in the last. In selection sort, we always pick the smallest element and this is true for if we are arranging the numbers in ascending order. So let's compile, execute and see. So 3, 5, 9, 13 and 16. Try it out to arrange the numbers in descending order. I am showing you the solution but before I show you, I would, I would 
recommend that you please try it on your own. So for, uh, for descending order, the sign just changes from greater than to less than. Rest everything remains the same. We go ahead, we compile, we execute. So 15, 12, 9, 5 and 1. So this is all for this video. Happy learning. Take care and bye-bye.